In today's energy markets, let's take a look at WTI crude futures as they're realizing selling pressure for a second consecutive session. We are seeing WTI crude futures lower. Today, though, intraday, we did see them hit a five month low. Uh, 86 spot, 82 was the intraday low, but well off those intraday lows to currently be priced right around 89 spot, 25 in the middle of the trading range for today, but still down on the session. And I think when you look at some of the driving factors today, why we're seeing this pressure in the WTI space, there's a couple things to point to. Number one, the data points from a global perspective. Uh, we did see uh, some data points come out from China uh, in the last 24 hours, indicating a significant slowing in certain areas of uh, the Chinese economic structure. And I think that was one of the primary drivers why we did see WTI uh, crude futures under some pressure here overnight coming into the morning session. Also this morning, US data points indicated that some slowing of uh, manufacturing, also housing uh, uh, home builders uh, data indicating a slowing as well. So I think that contributed to why we did realize the selling pressure here for a second day initially. Now, as we move through the session, we did see the WTI crude futures coming back into the middle of the range for today's price action. But when you look at the general trends, I do want to point out that uh, we are still trading at the low end of the range for the last several months, uh, even though we did come off those multi-month lows intraday. But uh, WTI crude futures have found a new range here, which is the lower end of the range for the last several months. And couple that with uh, a little bit of a shifting dynamic when you look at the Baker Hughes rig count as well. Now, a week and a half ago, a week ago Friday, I should say, we did see uh seven oil rigs come offline now last week we did see an uptick of three oil rigs uh so uh, a, a little bit of a net change there week over week but overall when you look at the total active rigs uh we did see a tick down by one last week and a tick lower the previous week and that's the first time in two years that when you look at the total active rigs in the u.s that we have seen a uh, two weeks of consecutive declines so we are seeing some moderation there in the rig count uh, from uh, both uh, gas and oil, uh, a little bit of uh, uptick in oil rigs this week, but overall the general trend seems to have reached a peak here temporarily.